Hey kindergarten, are you ready to sing with me? Follow along with the words. Here's a shout out to all of the friends that have completed 100% of their virtual work. Great job. Specifically, I want to give a shout out to Sage, Anaya, Ramon, and Christopher in JU, and Richard, Peyton, and Jakari from UF at Kip Voice. Great job. Good morning to you guys. It's marvelous here in Cravenville. Let's read our morning message together. Good morning, Kipsters. Today is Monday, May 11th, 2020. Our character trait this month is social intelligence. Remember to work hard and be nice today. May is the month that we're in. It's at the top of our calendar. We're in May. Do you remember what today is? I said it's a marvelous Monday. Very good. Here's Monday. Here are the days of the week right across the top of the calendar. Here's Monday. I'm going to go down and find today, Monday, May 11th. I see that there are no birthdays. It is so important to know how to read a calendar so that you know when your friend's birthdays are. And when I look at this calendar, I see that Tyasia's birthday, bird in my Tyasia's birthday was yesterday, May 10th. So happy birthday, Tyasia. Have a great day. Hey, Kipsters. Welcome back to the Character Spot with a teacher and her cat. I'm Miss Della Rosa, and this is my sleepy, sleepy cat. Hmm, Persephone gives me an idea. Let's see if Mr. Koala Bear has the same idea. Let's read what's on our board. Quiet time. And I have a little person here saying, shh. Hmm, I recognize that sound. Shh. And I have the letters SH here. You're right. That's a digraph. The digraph SH says, shh, you're one smart cookie. But we're not here to talk about digraphs. We're here to talk about quiet time. Have you ever had quiet time during the day? Let's talk about it. So quiet time is any time during a day when you either do something relaxing or restful or an activity that doesn't involve making noise. I think that it's important to have at least a little bit of quiet time every day. It gives your brain a chance to slow down. Yeah, Persephone agrees. She thinks it's important for everyone's brain to slow down. It's part of our brains helping us remember all the stuff we've learned. Kind of like when we talked about going to bed. So quiet time, is an important part of our days. Now, let me let you in on a little secret. A lot of the time, when grown-ups talk about quiet time, they usually want little people to take a nap. Now, no shame in naps, and here's the secret part. Sometimes, big people take naps. Did you know that? I bet. If you ask one of your teachers on Dojo, they will tell you that sometimes they take naps. I know, it's crazy. Not just little people take naps. Grown-ups take naps too. Everybody needs a little extra rest sometime. So if you think that your quiet time should be taking a nap, by all means. But Miss Della Rosa, what if I'm not sleepy? I know. See, Persephone's not sleepy anymore. She needs something else to do. I've got some ideas. 
great quiet time activity is reading. You can read a book to yourself. You can whisper it to a friend like Mr. Koala Bear. Another great quiet time activity is puzzles. Putting together a puzzle is a great way to work out your brain muscles while still doing something nice and chill. Coloring is another great quiet time activity. Anything that in, doesn't involve making a lot of noise can be a quiet time activity. You also wanna make sure that you're not running around because then you're not giving your body a, t a chance to rest with your brain. You wanna make sure that they're both relaxing at the same time. So here's your job. I want you to try and make time for a quiet time this week. Try only five or 10 minutes. And then if you find yourself liking what you're doing, go ahead and try it for longer. That's all I've got for today. See you next time.